Hey, Pastor Marvin here with you from Step of Faith Ministries. Today, I want to share with you one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, this movie struck such a chord with me that some of the sayings in the movie are just embedded into my mainframe. One of my favorite scenes in the entire movie, Forrest Gump, would, without any shadow of a doubt, would have to be the scene where Forrest Gump and his ride or die, his day one, his ace boon coon, which was Bubba, as they partake in a conversation and Bubba is explaining, going over all the different ways in which they can expand their shrimp empire. Bubba goes on to say, we can do stir fry shrimp, shrimp gumbo, shrimp casserole, fried shrimp, shrimp salad, shrimp and macaroni, shrimp and dumplings, shrimp and rice. You get it. So on and so on. But by far, that's one of the favorite scenes out of the movie for me. Although I enjoyed this scene with Bubba and Forrest Gump entertaining a conversation on their shrimp empire, my favorite scene of the movie is when Forrest Gump is sitting next to a lady by the bus stop sucking on a lollipop. No, I'm just getting my LL Cool J on. That ain't what took place. Well, Forrest Gump is sitting next to a lady at a bus stop and he has a box of chocolate on his lap. Take it away, maestro. Hello. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. You want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Man, although that's my favorite scene, there's many of uh, scenes I could have chose, but after watching this specific scene, I'm reminded of three things, a box, some chocolate, and not knowing what you're going to get. And when I closely thought about those three things, I couldn't help but to think about what happens when we're in a lifestyle of sin. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 12, it states the following. There is a way which seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. I ain't even gonna try to front on y'all. Every time I see that scene, I just get to rolling. You know why? Because ever since I first saw it, I've always had this question that run through my mind. Is Forrest really trying to push up on this woman with a box of candy. And you know, I thought about that for a minute. That's a very economical way of getting a date. But thinking about that whole scenario, three things come to my mind. Number one, the box. Number two, the chocolate. And number three, not knowing what you're gonna get. And when I think about those three things, they're very similar to the temptation of sin. You know, think about it. The box that the chocolate comes in is decorated and most of the time it has a bow on it. And then once you take the top off, the chocolate is so, it's, it's, it's so formed, it's uniformity and it looks good. It comes in rows and everything. And you know, just like sin, there's never been a temptation in my life that did never look good. There has never been a temptation in my life that I said, oh man, I don't even know if I want to do this. But you see, every temptation to sin that has been presented in my life, 
it look good or it smell good or it talk good. And from that broad general assessment, I came to the conclusion in my mind that if something felt good, if it's if it, if it looked good or if it talked good, then it can't be wrong. But that's where our author in the book of Proverbs tells us that there is a way which seems right to man, but in the end it leads to death. So my question for us today is, are we able to see past the allure and the trappings of something that will render us a paycheck at the end, but that paycheck we receive, <laughs> it ain't going to be the business. Something to think about over the weekend. Pastor Marvin with Step of Faith. Make it a great one. God bless you.